Yo, what's going on, my fellow YouTube viewers? This is Figure Reviews 411 coming back at you with the Target exclusive, the Flashpoint Flash. It, uh, it's been a good minute that I've seen such a great um, DC Multiverse McFarlane figure. It's, uh, it's it, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you get the same buck, same articulation as if you were holding the Blue Beetle and Booster Gold 2-pack. Exact same mold. So the joints move very nicely and freely. I like it a lot. The head is a little loose up here. It might be a little bit small on the body. I'm not too sure about that though. I don't know. It kind of looks small on him, you know. And this is how he stacks up against your 6-inch figures. Alright, I don't have another 7-inch with me right now at the moment. But, um... Yeah, it's cool. It's nice. The hands are also pretty small, but these these actually look pretty good on him. That's for sure. And um, the best part of of this figure, uh, besides the point of him not being able to stand, he's able to stand, but you really gotta kick up the uh, joints a bit here. There you go. The good part about this one, finally, McFarlane starting to listen to us this year. He gave us an unmasked alternate head man ah oh, it's wonderful let me show you what that looks like now yeah so this is what it looks like it is a beautiful sculpt as always no surprise there McFarlane does really good when it comes to his sculpts most of them most of them not all of them most of the comic ones he looks he does a good job uh, they'll come in this packaging huge packaging gold label for the uh, Target exclusive and uh, you get legs so it was a pretty nice surprise to get him. I'm so glad I was able to pick him up. I did cancel him a few times before actually going through with it. I was lucky enough to grab him and then he sold out like the next day. He was done. Stopped getting restocked. He'll probably get restocked later. Same with the Black Widow. Can't wait for that one. But uh, yeah, it's a great looking figure. You know, I've always been a DC fan. I've shied away from them because the material they've been putting out, the figures they've been putting out, everything about it started to suck. After we're, uh, what is it? Uh, Batman vs. Superman? Everything just started sucking. I mean, even those those movies weren't as great, but they were, they were pretty good. Now, that let me start it with the Snyder Cut. That thing is a amazing movie. <laughs> but, um, yeah. The figures are finally starting to look really good. Um, I love that McFarlane's starting to give us a lot of hands, too. I am so glad. You know, the coming figures that are Coming out, he's finally given his alternate hands and heads, and I'm just, I'm glad. I'm all for it. I am finally going back into the DC world. But yeah, this is what you're getting, guys. This is, a uh, not much to it. You know, a nice split there. Get a good bend of, I mean, a good kick forward. You get your double-jointed knees. It's, it's pretty good. I wish there was a boot swivel, but there isn't. I did notice he gets a lot of, uh swivel at the thigh which is really rare for a McFarlane figure but I noticed they cut more deep now they cut a lot more deep you see that way he gets more of the uh, swivel at the thigh that's what McFarlane's doing now I am so glad he's listening for real keep it up McFarlane you're doing so great I uh, can't wait for that Batman six pack can't wait for that Batman 89 those are gonna be sick really really nice figures anyways well that's all for today, my good old people, my friends, my peeps, my family. Take it easy. Keep collecting.